We used to have a brewery in Weymouth, which was shut. And then all the distribution took part from Red Ruth, and that would take stuff up to Honiton, where we had a large depot at Honiton. And with Red Ruth, it was distributed purely as far as Plymouth, that was, and to the Isles of Scilly. And then with the advent of the new key steam beer, which proved so successful, the company then decided to uh, branch out into areas of Yorkshire. We had a wholesaler based in Leicester and another one in Cardiff. And I had a sales team based at Honiton and obviously a sales team based at Red Ruth. And we also obviously had outlets. We had one tied house and lots of free trade outlets on the Isles of Scilly. One of the nice things that I found, I could be anywhere between here and say Swindon or Bristol or what, and you'd see the Devonish drain coming down towards you and there'd be a friendly wave come out for the draymans. Arm would come out and give you a friendly wave and I would wave back and it'd give you that feeling of, of I work for that nice company and I feel secure within that company. When I went to uh, Tolga School, which is now called Red Roof School, um, we had to walk through the brewery yard. It's quite horrendous at times because you had to dodge all the lorries and the forklifts. So you had to have your wits about you. And many a time, somebody would shout, Out the way, boy! <laughs> and here, Auntie, will you see to those pasties? The brewery folks will be here directly for their crib. Bad news, Mr. Warmby. I've just had a phone call to say the malt delivery will be late this week. When it rained heavy and the leak overflowed, the cash shed was flooded and the barrels floated down to Portreath Road into Sunnyside stores. And it was owned by Mr. Shaw at that time. Run, run, it's a flood. The wind is in the right direction today, ma'am. I can smell the malt from the brewery. Carl Jones asked me to see Brendan Jones. Brendan put me on to tank cleaning, which was manually, and I had to shadow a boy called Roy Tuskett. That was before I was allowed, left on my own, to clean the tanks. And I worked in water from 7.30 until 4.30 and I left work. The Cornish era ended about 1990. The Chinese era started in 1995. Some people worked for both these companies. Some of the Chinese brewery products were Yi Sing, the Chinese beer, Cornish Rebellion, Indian Head and John Davy. Some were in bottles, some in cans, and some were cask beers. Eureka! We have just secured the biggest free trade customer ever at the Cornwall Coliseum at St Austell. <laughs> <laughs>